Praise the Lord, everybody. This is Elder Clark. We're getting ready to start our Sunday morning service here on the uh, streaming and the conference call and Facebook Live. We thank God for being um, able to worship him on today. Um, first of all, are there any special prayer requests? Are there any special prayer requests? Pray for Sister Sandra Cole. Pray for Sister Sandra Cole. Amen. Are there any other special prayer requests? And also pray for Sister Alice Clark. Amen. Sister Alice Clark. Sandra Cole, Alice Clark. Any other special prayer requests? We also want to keep in prayer um, um, those that are in the hospitals, those that are in the, um, um, that have been affected by the coronavirus, those that have loved ones that have been affected, those that have lost loved ones. Um, we want to keep them in prayer in a special way. We want to keep in prayer those um, that have been affected financially, those that are DOT workers, those um, in different areas that have been affected. We want to pray for church members everywhere. We also want to pray. We also want to keep uh, Dr. Clark in prayer. Um, uh, she had a fall on yesterday, uh, I mean on Friday, and she's been to the hospital. They've cleared her, no broken bones, um, no fractures, no, con no concussions or anything of that nature. Um, she's at home resting and she desires your prayers. We're asking at this time, no phone calls. So keep her in prayer in a special way. Um, likewise, we want to keep in prayer um, Minister Asbel. Um, um, we also, Brother Homie, we want to keep in prayer um, uh, those that um, we, we have a lot to pray for. Um, so at this time, um, um, our senior citizens, our young people, we want to keep them in prayer in a special way. Um, Every head bowed and every eye closed. Dear gracious God, we come before you now in the name of Jesus. We thank you for all that you've done. We thank you for your healing virtue. Father, we ask that you would remember each and every one of the prayer requests. Father, we thank you that you can take pain away, and we thank you for that. We ask that you would take pain away from those that are feeling pain in their body in the hospitals. God, in the name of Jesus, we ask that you would show yourself mighty God. Lord, we ask that you would remember each and every one of them, God, in the name of Jesus. Remember on this prayer request, remember Sister Sandra Cole, remember uh, Sister Alice Clark, and also, God, remember Dr. Clark in a special way. Remember them all in a special way, oh God. Remember our pastor, remember our deacons, our trustees, God, our, our ministers, our evangelists, God. Remember them in a special way, God, in the name of Jesus. Father, we ask that you would keep them, that you would deliver them, watch over them, protect them from danger seen or unseen. God, remember those that have been affected by the coronavirus, those that have been affected, God, that financially, God, we ask that you would show yourself mighty, show yourself strong, God, in the name of Jesus. Father, we ask that you would beat back the hand of the adversary. Father, let your anointing have free course, God. Let your power be in the midst of this broadcast, God. I ask, God, that you would let your glory Glory be in the midst. Show yourself mighty, God. Show yourself strong in the name of Jesus. We'll be careful to give you glory. We'll be careful to give you honor. We'll be careful to give you the praise. In Jesus' name we pray, amen and amen. At this time, everyone can turn for our scripture reading, Psalms 103. Psalms 103. Psalms 103. At this time, it reads as thus, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that's within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all of his benefits, who forgiveth all of thine iniquities, who healeth all of thine diseases, who redeemeth thy life from destruction, who crowneth thee with love and kindness, and tender mercy, who satisfy my mouth with good things, so that the youth is renewed like an eagle. 
the Lord execute the righteousness and judgment for all that are oppressed. We may he may known his ways unto Moses, his acts unto the children of Israel. We also want to take this time to wish a happy Father's Day to all fathers um, at the church and not on, just on the church, but on the broadcast or on here. We ask you to um, pray in a special way um, uh, for each and every one. And also we want to congratulate to all graduates that are graduating we want to congratulate you, too, in a special way. At this time, we turn the further service over to the hands of our pastor. We're going to ask those that are on the streaming, if you can, to share this broadcast. We ask you that you can share it in a special way. Share it in a special way. Um, at this time, we turn the further service over to hands of our pastor. Can you that are on stream and say amen? Those that are on conference call, can you mute your lines, please? Bishop Clark. We do thank God for yet his unspeakable gift of love. We thank God for all that he is and, and all that we go through. God has everything for a purpose. And we have so much to be thankful for. The Lord has blessed us favorably, and we're able to say, if it had not been for the Lord on our side, where would we be? For God has already promised us that he would give his angels and camp around about us, and he has done just that. I'm thanking God for his blessing even in the fall of my wife, Dr. Clark, if it had not been for the Lord, no telling. And you talk about somebody praying, <laughs> Lord, show your hand. And God is a, he's, he's a wonder. God is really a wonder. He knows how to do. This is why it pays to be a prayer, to pray. It pays to be a, to the prayer group because you don't know when you're going to need it or how you're going to need it. One thing I do know, the prayers of the righteous availeth much. And it says that men ought to always pray and not faint. It means just that. It's time to pray. If we can find out how important prayer is, maybe we'll pray more. If you, you, if you know how important prayer is, and if it had not been for prayer, a lot of us would not be here today. Thanks be to God that gives us a victory. And prayer still works. And to you that are in streaming land, it's time for us to see if we can get a little, a little closer to the Lord. And when you have too much space, you, you, you run into difficulties. The closer you get to Jesus, better things going to be. The closer you get to Jesus, the less problems you have. It means something to pray. Now, when should I pray? You should pray always. Pray when things are going good and pray when things are going bad. Just pray. <laughs> Hallelujah. We thank God for his saving grace and his mercy. I was reading this morning in the book of Romans, chapter 12, and verse 1, and it reads, I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies 
living sacrifice, sacrifice holy, holy except unto, unto God, unto God, which is your reasonable service. Which is your reasonable service. And be not conformed to this world. Be not conformed to this world. But be ye transformed. But be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. By the changing of your mind. That you may prove. That you may prove what is that good? What is good? Acceptable. Acceptable. Perfect. Perfect. Will of God. Will, will of God. You have to prove it. Not just talk it. You have to prove it. This is what God likes. This is what God is outstanding love is for. That when you can take a, 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 a person and change his whole mind where he want to do right and don't want to do wrong. Can you do that? Yes, you can do it. Can, can God change your heart? Yes, he can change your heart. Can he take different attitudes and things away from you? Yes, he can do it. He's able to do everything but fail. He can change your mind forever. There's no need you say, I can't do this. I, I want it. You have to want to do right. And if you want to do right, God will give you everything to do the job with. And it says, and be not conformed conform to this world. To this world. But be ye transformed. But be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. Change your mind. It is so important that your mind has to be changed. It used to be, I thought this was right, but now I find out, I talk to the Lord, he says, this is not right. Only way that God can control you, you have to be willing to change. Yes, sir. If you're not willing to change, then you get the same old, same old, same old, same old. And it is important that you need to know something else. You, you have to change your mind by being able to do something you haven't done before. They got a song that said, Falling in love with Jesus is the best thing that I ever done. That I ever done. Falling in love with Jesus Yes, sir. Is the best thing you've ever done. And my friend, if you fall in love with him, he'll fall in love with you. Yes, sir. If you fall in love with him, he'll pour all his love on you. And remember, God is love. No man can be what God wants him to be until his love is made perfect. You have to fall in love with Jesus. If you can fall in love with Jesus, your today will be better than yesterday. Yes, sir. If you can fall in love with Jesus, he'll answer all your questions, your problems, and your challenges of life. He knows how to love. He'll love you when you become, when you think you're loveless. He'll love you. He'll love you when nobody else thinks nothing of you. He'll love you all the time. You'll never be alone again if you allow him to be and fall in love with him. And it's uh, all right, verse number three. For I say through the grace given unto me. I say through the grace given unto me. To every man that is among you. That is among you. Not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think. Now that's a problem. A lot of times people begin to think and 
think sometimes they think that I have arrived. That give me a privilege to do this and to act like this and do this. I, 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 don't you know who I am? Well, who are you? Uh, no, 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 no. Don't begin to think more higher than something. You may have some degree. You, you may have been in the church for, for many, 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 many years. There's no seniority here. There's only one willing to work for the Lord. If you're willing to work for the Lord, the pay is out of this world. If you're willing to work for the Lord, he'll open doors for you. If you're willing to work for the Lord, he'll satisfy your hunger. If you're willing to work for the Lord, and remember now, when you begin to think more highly of yourself, wait, just a minute, wait, wait there, wait there, uh, Pastor Clark, uh, uh, Bishop Clark, uh, 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 I, got, I got four degrees. Isn't that wonderful? But I want to let you in on a little secret. Nobody Talk, Bishop. Knows but you and me. Your degree don't mean nothing to heaven. Your degree is only for this world. Your degree only mean you can make a good job and you can have it. That's nice. But what you going to do when you go to the next world? What do you know about the next world? The next world is controlled by love. Thank you, Jesus. All right, read verse 4. Not to think of yourself more highly than you ought to think, but to think soberly, according to as God have dealt to every man the measure of faith. The measure of faith. Verse 4. For yes. as we have many members in one body. As we have many members in one body. And all members, and all members have not the same office. They're all in the same office. Now, I don't expect for my, my eyes to do the job of my lips. Come on, Bishop. I don't think the ears to do what the job of, of, my, of my tongue. Every member of my body has a job to do and a responsibility to do it too. And God will bless you when you realize that we need all of our members. Every member in the body is needed. Every saint in the body is there for a purpose. Every saint didn't realize that we need one another in order to exist. We need somebody to help bear this load that we have to go through. And But I, I know how that I, when I find out how wonderful Jesus is. Jesus is a wonderful Savior. Jesus is a mighty battle axe. Jesus is the rock of ages. Jesus is my helper tomorrow. Yes, sir. Jesus will give you peace in the midst of the dilemma and distress. Oh, my friend, I know that God can fix it. Now, we need every member. We need every member. I can't tell my wife I don't need her. I do need her. I'm going to tell her more now since I had this help. I'm going to tell the Lord, I, honey, I love you, honey. <laughs> What are you talking about? I, I know, I know what a bread and butter is now. <laughs> oh, but sometimes you you get to think you more highly of yourself than you ought to. I say, oh no, uh uh, I'm sorry, Lord. I, I, I'm praying, Lord, don't take her, Lord, don't take my wife, Lord, huh? And God heard my cry. <laughs> I'm thankful. I'm like, thank you, Jesus. What are you going to say? Thank you, Lord. I thank you for my wife. I thank for the good time, the bad time. I thank for, I just thank you, Lord. Uh, you better appreciate when you got something good. Come on, talk, Bishop. Uh, Sometimes you can't find no replacement. <laughs> and you're all by yourself sitting up there looking at the wall. No, no. No, I don't want to look at her. I want to look at her. Thank God for, all, all right, read. <laughs> for as many members in one body. Many members in one body. All members have not the same office. Drop down to verse number, uh, verse number nine. Let love be without dissimulation. The, the key to your sense, don't, don't let your love have hypocrisy in it. Don't be a hypocrite. 
acting like I love you. You know, I'm so glad to see you. And I, I'm so glad to see you, brother. And I, I, uh, I wish you heard her and heard him get out of my sight. That's a hypocrite. That's hypocrisy. That's not of God. Thank you, Jesus. All right, verse 9. Let love be without dissimulation. Without dissimulation. Abhor that which is evil. Abhor that which is evil. Cleave to that which is good. Cleave to that which is good. All right, read. Be kindly affectionate to one another. Be kindly and affectionate to one another. With brotherly love. With brotherly love. In honor, preferring one another. In honor, preferring one another. Not slowful in business. Not slowful in business. Fervent in spirit. Fervent in spirit. Serving the Lord. Serving the Lord. Rejoicing in hope. Rejoicing in hope. Patience in tribulation. Patience and tribulation. Don't you know you, you, you gotta suddenly take it easy, take it easy. Rome wasn't built in the day the old folks would say. You gotta go through the process. You gotta wait. You gotta think God was sometimes you got stuff in you, God gotta get out. You gotta get that stuff out of you. And you testing crowds to get the stuff out of you. Oh, my friend, you talking about uh, uh, good? When he gets through with you, there'll be none like you. Uh, a, a perfect gift for the human family, a man that pleases God. When you can please God, you're on top of him. When you can please God, you're working. And God will bless you. God will help you. God will give you grace. God will give you mercy. And one of the chief things in chapter 13 and verse number uh, verse number 7 Render therefore to all their dues mm -hmm. tribute to whom tribute is due custom to whom custom Fear to whom fear, honor to whom honor. Mm -hmm. Owe no man anything but to love one another. Uh, years ago when I was a young fella, I, I would tell the brothers, I said, you owe me. So what I owe you, Ellis Brother Clark? You owe me love and I want it. I want all that love that you owe me. I want it. When are you going to give it to me? I want that love. Get, pay me. Pay me. I don't want no... No, I don't know, child. I want that love. Oh, no man but to what? To love. To love. So you owe me love. Now, when are you going to pay it? Well, I, uh, no, I, I don't want, I, I want, I want, I want the love in full payment. I don't want partial pay. I want all that love you owe me. Oh, no man but to love. And when you can love one another, your, your value go up. When you can love one another, you, your, your power go up. When you love one another, God opens windows and doors for you. When you love one another, God bless you beyond all human expectation. God, for love is fulfillment of. All right, read. Owe no man anything. Owe no man anything. But to love one another. But to love one another. For he that loveth another. For he that loveth another. Hath fulfilled the law. Hath fulfilled the law. Read. For this thou shalt not commit adultery. Thou shalt not commit adultery. Thou shalt not kill. Thou shalt not kill. Thou shalt not steal. Thou shalt not steal. Thou shalt not bear false witness. Thou shalt not bear false witness. Thou shalt not covet. Thou shalt not covet. And if there be any other commandment, if there be any other commandment, it is briefly comprehended. Briefly comprehended in these in this saying. In this saying, namely. Namely, thou shalt love thy thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Thou shalt love your, thy neighbor as you love yourself. Now remember, when you love yourself, I don't see you going around and kicking yourself. I don't see you taking a hammer. Hold, hold your hand still, brother Clark. I, I got to do a little correct. Take the hammer, beat your hand. You don't beat yourself. 
love, if you don't beat yourself, then why you won't beat your neighbor? Love worketh no ill to its neighbor. You owe me, and I want it. I want a full payment of love that you owe me. Well, Bishop, I I, I don't have a, 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 a small down. I don't want. I want it all. I want all. No, I don't want no partial payment. I want all the love you owe me. You haven't paid me. When you gonna pay me? I hope you pay me before Jesus comes. You owe it. <laughs> that love is so essential that we are to love one another unconditional. And when you can love one another, you, you fulfill the law. When you love one another, you're doing the perfect will of God when you can love one another. And remember, love is a powerful commodity. Love is so powerful, it will change your life forever. And I tell you something would happen too. If you would happen just to fall in love with Jesus, you want to see something happen. And when you fall in love with him, he said, I never leave you, I never forsake you, I'll be with you always, even till the end. I love you. All right, read. Verse 9. For this thou shalt not commit adultery, thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not bear false witness, thou shalt not covet, and if there be any other commandment, it is briefly comprehended in this saying, namely, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. You should love your neighbor as yourself. If you love your neighbor, you would not steal nothing he has. He don't have to worry about you stealing. If you love your neighbor, you don't have to worry about committing adultery. If you love your neighbor, you don't have to worry about covetousness. None of those things in me. If you love your neighbor, is the fulfillment of the commandment of God. All right, read. Love worketh no ill to his neighbor. Now, love don't do dirty tricks. Folks won't pay, buy money from you, won't pay you back. Love won't do that. Love won't cause you to cover you what your friend or your brother had. Love won't do that. Love will cause you to pay your bills and treat one another right and, and tell the truth. Even if it has to cry, tell the truth. You can't go wrong for you. You should know the truth. And the truth will make you free. If you tell it, all right, read. Love worketh no ill to his neighbor. Love worketh no ill to his neighbor. Therefore, love is the fulfilling of the law. It's the fulfillment of the law. And that knowing the time. And knowing the time. That now it is high time to awake out of sleep. Wake up out of sleep. Read. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. Jesus could come at any time now. And have you noticed now since all this uh, things are going on, people are uh, 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 walking up and down the street together, black and white folks there, and hugging and kissing one another. Something going on. <laughs> Watch out. God is doing something. I ain't seen nothing like this before. This is something. People are getting together, walking down the street, not fighting. And I ain't had no big fights like they used to have when they have these, these, these uh, what you call them? Uh, Race. Right. Racism. Racism. Mar marches. Marches. Marches were going all around. This is unusual. Something is happening. Do you believe me? Something is happening. I can't put my hand on it. Talk, can't, Bishop. But something is happening to this world. Not just in the United States. It's all over. Look like people are trying to get a little closer to the Lord. And I hope you all are. The closer you get to the Lord, the better when he say, Come, my people. He that will come shall come. And he will not tarry. One more scripture. 
Verse 14. Drop down to verse 14. But put ye on. Now, this is how you can be successful. Put you on. The Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord Jesus Christ. And make no provision. And make no provision. For the flesh. For the flesh. To fulfill the lust thereof. To fulfill the lust thereof. Now, what are you saying, Bishop? Put on more, get, put more Jesus on. Yes, sir. You, you don't have enough Jesus. When you can't get along, oh, you don't have enough Jesus on. Put him on. All of Jesus. No, 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 no. Put all of them in. Put the total man on. What do you mean? When I say the total man, all his word, put it on. Love one another. Forgive one another. Pray for your enemy. Trust in the Lord. And God will make a way somehow. May God bless. We have our prayers and we hope you will join us on this uh, our prayer vigil that we have every Monday and Tuesday. And you won't regret it. I tell you one thing, it's contagious. Amen. Good. Amen. Amen. We thank God for all that um, we've heard this morning. Um, we want to uh, reiterate the announcements. There will be prayer tomorrow at 7 on the conference line. We ask you to invite someone. Prayer tomorrow, Tuesday at 7. Bible class on uh, uh, Wednesday at uh, 7. We ask that you would continue to pray for one another. As I stated before, uh, keep Dr. Clark in your prayer. Uh, she's resting. Um, um, she had a fall on the other night, and um, she's been to the hospital, but um, they released her. No bones broken, no um, con um, concussions or anything of that nature. So we ask that you would keep her in your prayers. Likewise, the other prayer requests that has been made it unknown. We asking you all to keep our pastor in your prayers, keep all the ministers in your prayers. Um, for also, we still want to wish. Happy Father's Day to all the fathers. Um, 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 we, we thank God for all that is going on. We want you all that are on the streaming to give a praise to God through the streaming. We want everybody on the streaming and those that are on the conference line, we ask that you would unmute your phone and uh, unmute your phone and give God a praise through the phone, through the conference line. We use, yes, we want you to unmute your phone. That's right. We have a lot on the conference line. Come on, let's give them a praise. This is the day that the Lord has made. Yes, those that are on the conference. Go, that's right. You on the on the on the on the stream and come on and give them a praise. Somebody saying hallelujah. Somebody saying glory. Somebody saying thank you, Jesus. Somebody saying thank you, Jesus. Somebody's clapping their hands. That's right. Michelle Johnson saying thank you, Jesus. Sister Brooks is saying glory to God. Somebody saying, Ashley saying, hallelujah, Lord. Somebody saying, glory. That's right. We owe him a praise. He's been good to us. Someone saying, thank you, Jesus. I love you, Lord. We owe him a praise. Praise the Lord. He's worthy. Evangelist Harvin is saying, praise the Lord. He's worthy. Yes, yes. Yes. Praise him. Praise him. Hallelujah. That's right. He do, he's, that's right. They're praising him on the conference call. Hallelujah. 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 We thank you. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you, we thank you. We give your name the glory. We give your name the honor. We give your name the praise. We bless your name. We bless your name. We thank God for everyone that is on the calls. We want to keep, we all keep praising God. Keep praising God. Keep praising God. Keep praising God. Give him glory. Give him honor. Magnify him. Give him glory. Give him honor. Give him glory. Give him honor. We thank you, God. We thank you, God. We praise you, God. We magnify you. We adore your great and holy name. That's right. We thank you. Well, at this time, we get ready to dismiss. We want to wish fathers happy Father's Day. Keep on giving God some praise. He's worthy of it. He's worthy of it. This is the day that he has made. We come to bless him. 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 This is Sunday. We come to bless him. Oh, magnify the Lord with us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
We bless your name. At this time, we're going to end the conference call and we're going to end the streaming. You all have a blessed day. Keep praising them. Keep praising them. Thank you, Jesus. How about she under? Thank you. Glory, glory. You all be blessed in Jesus' name.